you only live once, Exile. Make your choice. What's up, guys? James Blonde here. Welcome back to the second part of my Path of Exile coverage. And here I'll be diving into Path of Exile's latest expansion that is on its way, depending on when you're watching this video, Path of Exile Ultimatum. If you found this video first and want to check out the first part where I go over what's new in Path of Exile 2, you can click here or find the link to it in the description below, along with the live stream for the entire event, which is awesome. You're not going to want to miss that. So there's not really hiding much behind the name of this new expansion. It is as the name suggests. This expansion's whole concept is risking items to get great reward, and with great reward comes great risk in this case. In each area of the Ultimatum League, you'll run into the Trial Master, this guy, an emissary of a Val entity known only as Chaos. Go figure, that's fitting. On behalf of Chaos, the Trial Master enacts trials where exiles must risk an escalating set of valuable rewards as they attempt to overcome progressively more difficult encounters, so much so that you might find yourself getting in over your head. I think that's, that's kinda, that's gonna happen. In each trial, you'll be presented with a reward, ooh, piece of candy, an objective, and a selection of difficulty modifiers that make the trial harder. Once you've decided on one of the modifiers, luckily you get to do that, you must then complete that objective under the constraints of that modifier in order to win the promised reward. Of course, if you beat that challenge, the Trial Master will present you with an ultimatum. Walk away with what you've earned so far, or risk it all trying to double down on the rewards. Kinda sounds like a game show, with more death. If you decided to keep upping the challenge, you'll get offered additional rewards to up the stakes if you add another difficulty modifier to the trial. So just so you're with me, that's on top of any prior modifiers. They're stacking. If you beat that, you'll be offered an additional reward in exchange for yet another difficulty modifier. See where this is going? The winnings get better and better as the challenges get harder and harder, and if you fail, you'll walk away with nothing. Not even your pride of attempting such a challenge in the first place. They've somehow figured out how to take that as well. You can always play smart and know your limits and not let greed get you, but you can go up to 10 layers of nastiness with these trials with a special, let's say, surprise in the last one. <coughs> Boss fight. In addition, you can occasionally find items in maps called inscribed ultimatums, and these can be placed into the map device to transport you directly to the Trial Master's domain. Each of these inscribed ultimatums specifies an offering that you must bring with you, a reward that you can earn, and an assortment of ultimatum difficulty modifiers. Of course, if you're able to crush that challenge, the Trial Master offers you an item that's worth around twice the value of the item that you're required to bring to the challenge in the first place. So, you know, if you're needing to risk an exalted or five, you could be rewarded with a stack of two or 10 as a reward. It's a nice payout. You can also trade off inscribed ultimatums with other players if you feel like you know someone that is up for the challenge that you might not be able to handle yourself. I mean, you might be able to work out something that's fair value. That's yet another decision that's up to you. Oh, and speaking of other players, they've really structured this in a way that doesn't punish you for being in a party with others. Party members complete the trials together but have separate rewards available to them that will need to be locked in in order to begin the trial. Each player votes on which difficulty modifier to select, and if there's any draw on the votes, the modifier will be chosen at random. Good luck. And yeah, if one player wants to wimp out early, they can take their reward and opt out of the next difficult trial without affecting the other party members from continuing, and in the end, the rewards are dropped allocated to the players who earn them. And that's ultimatum. Well, sort of. There's you know, a lot more. That's the new league and game mechanic introduced in the expansion, but there's, yeah, like, yeah, there's a lot more. Changes from literally every other expansion in the past, to be honest. So, since there's so much of this content coming in this expansion, I won't actually go over all of it, uh, but I'd like to point out a few changes that are really exciting. The main change that's happening is the team is taking a new look at all of the rewards in the game since they kind of feel that it needs to be freshened up a bit. I mean, Chris thinks they're outdated, so he's probably right. The now video on demand live stream goes over the rewards that are being changed in each one of the past expansions. As one example, the sacrificial garb base type that drops from Aziri from Sacrifice of the Val hasn't been changed in seven years. Now, it's been drastically improved with the addition of an implicit mod that grants plus one to the level of all Val gems that you have equipped. 
One of Chris's favorite reward changes, well, I'll let him share it. One of my favorite reward changes in this expansion is that Incursion's Temple of Atsuato can now be itemized. Once you have access to the map device, Alva can turn your completed and ready-to-run temple into a tradable object that can be consumed in the map device. This means that players can specialize in either making temples to trade to other players or trading for temples that are ready for them to run. Once again, there is a ton of new changes in the expansion. It's really hard to cover it all without a 40-minute live stream, which you can totally check out for all of the details, along with a Q&A with Ziggy D. The new Ultimatum expansion is available starting on April 16th for PC and the 21st on console. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe for weekly gaming news videos, and until next time, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'm James Blonde. See you out there, gamers. Ultimate reward requires ultimate risk. Face the ultimatum.